Hello there, and welcome to anyone who's new. Here, we're all trying to be more productive and squeeze the most we can out of the 24 hours in a day. I know you all very well, and know that we're all workaholics and huge productivity nerds that stress every time we don't get something done. One of the easiest ways to get more time from your day is by typing faster, and I really do believe that this can make a huge difference for you long term. After following this video for just one short week, you'll be able to type at least 100 words per minute. So why do we want to type faster? The average person types at 40 words per minute according to various online sources. However, in my own life, I've seen most people type around 60 words per minute, so let's go with that as our standard. Let's say that you type 60 words per minute right now, and by the end of this video, you should reach 100 words per minute. Calculating things out, you're typing 40 more words every minute. All right, so on average, people probably type around 1,000 words per day, obviously depending on your different occupations or even how much you're texting people. But at 100 words per minute, you can type all 1,000 words in just 10 minutes. At 60 words per minute, you can type the same amount in 17 minutes. Now, looking at the long run in a week, Staying at a consistent 100 WPM typing speed and then typing 1,000 words per day, you'll spend 10 minutes over a course of 7 days, so a total of 70 minutes per week. If you are still at 60 WPM, with the same calculations, you will spend 17 minutes over a course of 7 days, or a total of 117 total minutes. At the higher typing speed of 100 WPM, you are cutting down nearly 50 minutes per week. Think about that. If we look at this over the course of a year with 42 weeks per year, you are cutting down on 2,427 minutes every year. For you to understand, this is equivalent to 1.7 days. So it's basically as if you've wasted almost two entire days in your year without even knowing it. Of course, all of these calculations will vary greatly depending on your own situation, but this is just for me to represent that your typing speed can make a huge difference in your life and shave off all of that extra time that you have been wasting. The first thing you need to do is find a few good websites that will train your typing and really force you to practice typing. Luckily, there's a bunch of really great sites out there that are completely free for you to use. Picking a good website is really important. I have tried a lot of these out and sites like typingclub.com and typing.com are the best ones that I have found. If you are already typing at around 60 WPM and feel comfortable with the key positions, make sure to test yourself at the start of a lesson to find which fits you best. If you're only at 40 WPM or even less, make sure to start at the basic levels so that you can learn the home row and other keys a little bit better. The key here, pun intended, is to understand your own level and pick a spot in the training lessons that will allow you to grow the most. There's also sites like keybr.com that allow you to practice letter by letter if you find, for example, that you have a specifically lower typing speed with one letter while you're good at other letters on your keyboard. Typingclub.com and typing.com both allow you to start learning at the most basic levels, allowing you to build up to more advanced ones. I recommend you all to start wherever you're most comfortable, but if you feel ready, I highly recommend that you start at the level where you actually start typing real words. Once you have a feel for where the keys are located, you should skip straight to typing words. This is because one, you'll get super bored from just typing arbitrary random letters that don't even form a real word, and two, None of those letters actually reflect much about your real typing speed, since in real life, you're typing out full words. If you practice on real words right away, you'll be able to type quicker, much faster. This is actually because you're building up muscle memory in your fingers. So if I see the word lasagna on the screen, I'll be able to type it much faster than a jumbled bunch of letters because my brain can already know where to direct my fingers to go since it's reading a real word. The next step is to find good testing sites that can give you the practice you need. My current main testing site is 10fastfingers.com, but keyhero.com is also really great. If you're looking for a site that looks visually appealing, go to typings.gg, which is a really minimalist and customizable typing test site that is really helpful for focusing on the words. 
The only drawback from typings is that you don't get very many metrics or data, just your words per minute and the accuracy. They also just generate a lot of really basic random words, so sometimes I find that the test might be a little bit too easy and doesn't actually reflect my real typing speed. I love 10 Fast Fingers and Key Hero because they provide you with much more information. On top of typing speed and accuracy, 10 Fast Fingers also gives you data on your keystrokes and the number of words you got correct or incorrect within that minute. On this website, you're able to move on with words even if you mess up, meaning that you don't always have to go back to backspace and fix your mistakes, which really allows you to focus on the words coming up instead of thinking too much. I always recommend you to look a few words ahead and allow your fingers to take over while your brain is reading the words that are in front of you. On this website, they generate the top 200 words in your language for the basic typing test, which I find usually reflects the typing speed pretty well. With Key Hero, you're forced to press backspace to go back to the mistakes you've made, and it won't let you move on, which is slightly annoying. But a great thing about it is that you're able to have a graph of your progress on typing speed and accuracy based on all of the tests you've taken, which you can use to see your improvement. Another thing about this site is that they bring up random excerpts from movies, books, or songs for you to type, so it's actually pretty amusing to read what you're typing in your test. Sometimes they even bring up motivational quotes, which is always extra fun. The third step to really picking up your typing speed is to switch up the keyboard you're using. So why are we doing this? Because you'll feel super uncomfortable when you're switching to other keyboards, and then you'll be able to come back to your main keyboard and realize that all of a sudden you feel so much more at home, and you'll be able to type so much faster. So for me, I constantly rotate between a bunch of different keyboards, and I've found that I've greatly increased my speed on each one of them, actually. Perhaps during this process, you'll be able to find a keyboard that fits you best, since everyone likes different types of keyboards. I am a fan of mechanical keyboards, but sometimes the key travel is a bit too much for me, so most of the time I stick with scissor switches on Apple keyboards. Just the other day, actually, I bought a smart keyboard folio for my iPad Pro, and I made sure to practice typing on that as well, and I'm still consistently reaching about at least 100 words per minute every single time. Not all of your training process has to be extremely hard. Games are a great way for you to increase your typing speed while having fun at the same time. One of the most popular sites is typeracer.com, which is basically a typing racing site where your speed is represented by a little car and you make your way through the race by competing with other typists. On this website, you're usually typing excerpts from media, just like with Key Hero. One of my other favorites is z.type, which is a great site that has been designed pretty well. Your typing represents a spaceship that shoots lasers at multiple asteroids and objects that come flying in your direction, each linked with a different word. You can also get bonus points by typing individual letters sometimes. Again, this is really great in my opinion, since you're not wasting time by typing random letters, you're actually forming real words. To truly become a pro over a period of time as short as a week, you must make sure that you're able to follow all of these tips while intermingling them at the same time. Spend a lot of time during your day typing, and I'm sure that you'll be able to reach your goal. Make sure that once you get comfortable, ditch the training websites and go straight to typing tests. Take around 20 tests in a row, without breaks in between, and then pause for about a minute or two and repeat the process. Think of it as a boot camp training for your fingers or your brain, or a workout that has sets and reps, and make sure to continue repeating this process so that your brain can get used to it. I guarantee that if you put in all of the effort, you'll be able to get the results that you are looking for. I believe in you, and I know that you can do it. You just need to believe in yourself. Typing is something that requires a lot of practice and shaping up. You need to practice your muscle memory and train your fingers to respond to signals in your brain as quickly as possible. It's not always an easy task, but you'll be able to do it if you put your mind to it. Make sure you never go a day without practicing. This is just like working out. You don't want to get out of practice as your muscles will slowly deteriorate themselves. So spend many hours per day working on building your skills to get bulked up as quickly as possible. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and leave me a comment down below. I greatly appreciate you all for your love and your support. Also, if you have friends that are slow typers, feel free to shoot them this video to help them out. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks friends, see you soon.